and we're bringing something really exciting to you today. Now, one of Breading and Extensions has always operated from England, London in particular, and until we move out slightly to Southern and see where we get our clients come from all over the world. We've also had to travel to various parts of the world, like the US a few times. But this is really exciting because today we're right here in Nigeria, Africa, Lagos in particular. And the reason it's so exciting is we've had so many inquiries from Africa in general, Nigeria in particular, people asking if we could come and share the knowledge we have with them. I mean, we've had some African students who've actually tried so hard to register for our courses and then the problem becomes to get a visa to go into England. Now what I tend to say to people like that is, is the knowledge that counts, not the location. So just because I'm operating in England doesn't necessarily mean that when I come to Africa, the knowledge changes. No, it's still the same knowledge. The only thing that changes from time to time is the you know, materials and equipment and the various local things that exist in various countries in particular. So today I brought a few interesting things, but on the general level, I am here in Nigeria because teaching and training some students in especially an exciting technique that people always get confused with. It is the weave. And what we're going to be doing is the side parting weave. A natural full head break and weave, but with a side parting. So welcome on board. Okay, so what's going on here? We have Kalima, one of our very, very good friend and client here in Nigeria. She owns a salon where she offers various types of hairstyles. The only thing we're trying to do here with Halima is to perfect her weave so that she's having a professional weave which will service her clients very easily. So in her case, she doesn't need to learn how to cornrow, which you can see she's already following the pattern but we decided to work with it. And she's very, very quick at creating this cornrow. So this is not going to take long for her to finish. Now if you were at the beginner level when you're still learning cornrow, Training does take a really long time in the sense of getting your corner first before we are ready to start creating the wing. Okay, so the class we are taking on today is a very quick class of working with weave. And what is weave is hair on a weft, just like this. Now for us, are there as we call it weave. But here in Nigeria in particular, it is called fixing. So fixing is about taking a needle, just like this, and stitching the weft onto a base of corn. So that's the action we're going to take. But I'm working with a group of ladies who are already used to working with hair. So this is a really quick class, it's not a regular class where I'll take you through the action of cornrow. So you'll be seeing them actually creating their cornrow and it's taking really quick because they're already used to this. But where we're going to focus on is where we're actually stitching the weave. Um, one. So Fumi um, does freelance uh, hairstyling. She goes from home to home and work with braids mostly here. Yeah? Occasionally work with weaves, which is the fixer. So she wants to perfect her action of how to braid very professional weaves or professional fixing as they were called. It. And we talked about we talked about Halima earlier on. You can see the cornrow Halima has created really quickly within we call it 20 minutes or 30 minutes, she's all done. Because she's used to this already, she has a salon where she does so many other things. You will be seeing her even more in a lot more videos. We've done a video where she was tying baby as well. It's more coming here, but she's very good with hair, and this is how she's created her cornrow, and we're going to get things going really quickly as well. So, Chumoke here has a salon. Chumoke, do you do weeks as well? Oh, for fixing. So Jumaket does fix 
skin as well and she just wants to perfect it she's having a bit of a struggle <laughs> with this hair because it's a lot of hair um, it's one of those cases where I make sure my students get used to working with somebody who has a lot of hair because you may come across clients who have similar hair and then you struggle but when you train a hair that's really difficult to work with it makes that really easy so she has a salon she does various types of hairstyles as well just to perfect her weave technique and that's what we're here for today Still think we'll open another so you're not going in that circular mode and then it becomes some really it goes bumpy and creates this bumpy thing on her hair. So when you go like that, you stop the bump and it goes flat. Make sense? And today you don't understand what I'm trying to say. You said we are fixing half parts, right? A full head, but side, side parts. Part, side pattern. What I'm saying is, yeah, we do normal side parts moving. On that, not round, round like this. Mm. Mm. Because that one, you will leave the natural hair open, isn't it? Even if you are closing it, that's the way we stay doing it. You do it how? As in, we do part like this, and leave like this. Uh -huh. And you leave this big gap in the middle. We close it up. How do you close it? usually on it. <laughs> Sometimes we use bonding, we use gum to come the weaves together. Hey. It is a physical closing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you fix it round. round the hair, but we still weave half mm -hmm. part. Nino is always looking up, don't make it down yeah. because when you post down, you end up poking into the scalp. Then hold on to the end of that thread so you know exactly where it goes along that side. And your needle goes in. Your so that is how it's done. Now, take this on the mat. So you can not take it. So most times when people it's a bit like when we create this, we call it the foundation. It's a bit like a carpet. Yeah, you're creating a carpet. So you want to make sure that you have enough space to stitch that weft on. Now, I know we're in a hurry and you have to really hurry. So you see all these big, big spaces. Normally, if you're creating a professional wig, this will affect your work. Because you want that hair to be everywhere so that when you stitch, it's quick. There's a solution to that. You know the hair net? That one you showed me. Yes. There's even a tinier one than that. So you just put a hair net on. So let's say we create a big, big one because we are in a hurry as hairdressers. We just want to get it over and done. You put the hair net on, and that net becomes the space that you just teach your hair. Make sense? Yes. Good. So now we're going to make sure this goes in. Okay? So if you go in to sew, you see that? So it kind of blocks it off. If you go again, needle goes goes up in any way you like and over it. It goes anywhere you have that space. Over it, take like that. Yeah. That's the action. When we when we start stitching, I also show you how we add thread without you cutting it off each time. I give it a bit of a space like that. It's not right. Even if there's front and back, don't worry about it. You won't really do anything. But I think for synthetic, it won't because when you finish that thing, will poke all over the place. But for human hair, it doesn't matter because when you blow dry the hair and turn the hair, it all goes in. But you can make a bit. But let me make sure I'm using the right place. But something I'm going to show you to, to fit that whole thing. Um, what I want to show you is if you have a client who got Brazilian hair, we call it virgin hair. Yeah? Virgin hair, don't go cutting them. When you when you do your hair, you cut them. Just go. Or you go wrap and wrap. Okay. When you're stitching, you just want to connect that extension which is this hair, onto something so it holds it. That's the whole idea of the combo. Remember if you put a net, remember when I said you can just put a net to save yes, yourself. Yes, yes. So let's...
Okay, so you see that straight line? That's that blanket stitch. Make sure when you're stitching is always straight line because if you straight line it allows for the hair to be flat. Okay? So now we are done very beginning. Now you go back and carry on proper stitching. So remember our back stitching thing we did before again. So we now hold this one down. Then go back a little bit so as to make sure that one is sitting beautiful. close to each other doing stitching so that it doesn't give any spaces. Okay, so we've got this really, really thin finish here. Yeah. Now, most times here, yeah, this is what I notice people do. They just leave it like that. Not even leave it like that. I've seen all kinds of weird closures that are really, really not what it should be. Look at what we now do. In as much as this is not our closure, we then close them up completely. So take that, take that, both sides. Make sense, yeah? Okay, so take that, take that. See how it's completely. And this I will actually normally close and leave it like that. Yeah, we <laughs> would do that all the time. That's why I thought, you know what? I still think I have a lot I want to share with you. But so this is what is missing. See that? So you can see the difference here. Yeah? So do that to finish that off. And once we finish that, then you bring back just a thread to somewhere they are never cut thread at the end. Take it in here. You remember how we did that cutting? Hold one side, not it. So you do that. Once you finish, then we're going to now do this. Open up all that closure you did. Look at that. So there's that one we're going to cut off here. Yeah? So now you remember we went three, four lines, yeah? So if you open one side, you're not happy with it. You go a bit more. That's a lot better. I like that. Okay? So when we do that, we're going to cut off all the short short hair. You remember when you were asking in the front or the back? It doesn't really matter because then anyway it can be used. Open it up nicely within the period. About four times you go front and back, front and back. And once you're happy, you finish it off and then you brush your hair again nicely. To show what you've done. See that? And then the brush goes everywhere, both ways. Look at this, look like my mama. Okay, so that has been our training today. Now, what does water braiding stand for? We stand for empowering. Empowering people with skills for work and business. Skills that can help bring money into your hands. Skills that can give you employment so you're not sitting idle and wondering what next should I be doing. Skills that can change your life basically on a different level. And we've done this over the years that students who train all over the world always, always testify to this. So we hope we've been able to share some knowledge with you today. Um, it wasn't so much sharing the knowledge, but for you to know that we actually do exist here in Africa, here in Nigeria. And we want you to just register. Send us your messages, email us. Um, you can actually call us because we're gonna put our contact numbers there in the description box. Let us know when you wanna be able to come over to Lagos and our training will be here to support you. So we thank you for watching this video today and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.
shout out to the this video. We've done an amazing job on this, considering we had a really short time to do this work. So I want you to know the people who have been able to complete this work and where you can find them. Because remember, we did say they already provide services in here, locally here in Nigeria. So we're gonna start with Fumi. Fumi, Fumi where do you offer your services here in Nigeria? Service. Home service, okay. So if people call you, you can come to their home. Yeah. That's fine. What kind of services do you offer? Yes. And another unique thing that Fumi does is um, the wig as well, isn't it? So she does wig prints. So that's really something amazing that's actually taking place right now. Lots of people are into that. But of course, we'll talk about that at another time and in another video. Okay, so remember we've been very busy, so don't worry about our image right now, and it's very hot as well. We normally pretty out of this. Yes, does that answer your question? Yes. Okay, so here is Halima, and Halima offers all kinds of services as well. Halima, where does your, where is your shop based? It's located at Faba. Here yeah, in Faba. Okay, Faba, Agege, Lagos. And what kind of hair services do you offer? Ah, it ranges from up. Braid, twist, Ghana weaving, fixing, crocheting, then even cap with cap. Okay, so you hear all the various options she has to offer. You also can offer freelance, you can go home as well. Yes, yes. So, yeah, in as much as she has a shop, you can also call her. We're gonna put everybody's number in the description box for you to contact them and they come and offer the service that you are looking for. Remember what we represent here at World of Braiding is to support businesses to grow and all over the world we are happy to do this, helping small businesses to find their skills and actually offer it to the world. So, okay, so Jumoke, you work so hard today with us and you've seen the amazing results you do when you do offer services in here. Yeah. Where do you operate from? That's a co-parent of Fagba. Yes, so Fagba is an area here in Akege, which is here in Lagos. And you also offer freelance services, you go to people's houses as well? Yes. yes. So we're going to put your number, just like um, Fumi and uh, Halima's number, we'll put your number as well, so people can reach you when they need your services. What kind of particular services do you offer in here? Great. Great. Okay. Okay, Ghana, you did twist. Afro King. Oh, good. And you did crochet. So, there you have it. She does all kinds of hairstyles that can, you know, all you have to do is you come to her shop, which we're going to put her number there. And she, when you call her, she will give you her address. Or you call her, she can come to your house and offer her service.